Good afternoon. My name is Kelly Lam. I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at Mila. Welcome, bienvenue, and willkommen. As many of you remain at home safe with your families, we want to make sure that we're still here for you. Many of you have reached out to us to ask us questions about products that you have in your home. Some of you are interested to learn more about products that you're interested in buying. In addition to that, many of you have asked questions about the services we continue to provide during these times that we're all facing. With Mila Live, this is now our third week, it's all about the interaction between us here and you at home. We're here to answer questions, whether you have questions about your dishwasher, how to get the best performance, how to best take care of your clothes in Mila laundry machines, or how to use the Mila steam oven, and a vast array of, array of other products. Pour ceux d'entre vous qui ont demandé pour des sessions en français, on travaille actuellement d'avoir des sessions dans les semaines qui viennent. These sessions at Meal Alive are all about live interaction. As we go through these sessions, be sure to ask your questions by leaving a comment uh, in the comment section if you've logged in watching YouTube. If you are watching us on mealalive.ca, there's a comment box. Be sure to just leave your questions there. We'll try to get to every question during this live session. In addition, today is Happy Earth Day. And part of our sustainability is really focused around quality. I'm really happy to have our product expert for the topic today, floor care, our vacuums. Dean, hi Dean. Hi Kelly. It would be great for you to kick off this session, I think, as it is Earth Day um, and the topic of sustainability to talk about quality of meal products. For sure. Well, thanks for having me, and thanks everyone online for joining us today for this uh, for this Mila Live session. Um, so, sustainability is a topic that's really near and dear to uh, everyone at Mila, and it's something that our uh, product development teams are, are thinking about not just on Earth Day, but every day of the year. And for the past 120 years, uh, through the history of, of Mila as a company. Um, it's been at the core of our product development is in order to be able to produce uh, products that are going to be sustainable. And Kelly, as you were mentioning, quality is one of those uh, key areas where we focus in order to build sustainable products. So I think you're already demonstrating some quality because I feel really short today, Dean. Yes, so um, I, I can assure everyone at home, I'm not seven feet tall. <laughs> Kelly is not four and a half feet <laughs> high, but uh, I'm actually standing on our vacuum right now. So um, if we just uh, scroll down and just, uh, if you're able to see, I'm just gonna step right up on this vacuum. So despite the, the, the shell looking like a plastic shell that perhaps you might think couldn't actually withstand the weight of a full adult, um, the fact is I can actually stand on this, I can get off, and we don't hear any cracking of the plastic at all. Maybe. So this is just really one example of the fantastic quality that's built into our vacuums. Yeah, I think that's, you know, and I think, again, when sometimes when we think about sustainability in the environment, it's, it's sometimes we forget about actually the importance of production quality because it keeps things out of the landfills. That's for a right. For period of time. Yes. So uh, all of our products, including our Mila vacuums, are built and designed and tested to the last equivalent of 20 years of use in your home. So we have studied uh, how people use vacuums in their homes, how often they're vacuuming, the different types of uh, things they're doing with their vacuum, uh, you know, the wear and tear that the vacuum will go through um, in, uh, uh, during the life of, of its use in the home. I, know, I think I've done that a couple of times with, uh, with the hose. Yes, and so you're able to really handle our vacuums and, uh, you know, uh, relatively roughly, um, and they're you know, through just normal vacuum usage and you're not gonna have to worry about um, them breaking down. So as you were saying, when the product lasts a whole 20 years in your home, um, you're not gonna to have to replace this product very often and, and we really are keeping a lot of our products um, from piling up in the landfill. That's great. Um, so Dean, I know we have you here today to talk about, a, in some ways, a really unique topic. Uh, you know, we talk about floor care, but you're actually gonna talk about above the floor yes. care today using our vacuum cleaner. So I think that's actually really interesting. Yeah, so we're gonna to focus today on what we call our complete C3 Excellence canister vacuum. Uh, this is a, a vacuum that requires a dust bag and it's a white vacuum. It's available currently on Milo.ca. 
Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a vacuum that is uh, a, a special model that we bring out um, a couple of times a year. Um, so right now we actually have just launched this uh, just a few days ago at a really incredible price. So this vacuum uh, has a, a regular price of uh, $849. And, um, Currently, it's on uh, promotion for $599, so $250 off. Um, I, I can say this is one of our absolute best values um, uh, in terms of a promotion on a, on a Mila vacuum that we offer. And, um, and the really exciting thing about this particular promotion and this particular model is that this, is, um, this promotion is allowing you to get an amazing price on our top of the line complete C3 series of vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. uh, so the complete C3 uh, vacuum cleaners that we offer, these are the vacuums that come with all the bells and whistles in terms of features and benefits um, that, that, you're, you, that Mila is really known for in terms of vacuums. And this is a full size vacuum? Full size vacuum, yes. So it's gonna take a, a dust bag. Um, the dust bags are, the, the type is called GN and um, it's a four and a half liter dust bag. So it's, it's our larger size dust bag um, and it's really gonna be able to um, capture a lot of dust before you're gonna have to empty it. Um, so that's one of the advantages with having the full size vacuum. Um, so let me just uh, take you through a little bit about uh, this particular vacuum so that uh, on this session you can learn all about uh, what you can get basically for $600. Well, and, and I think the thing is it's kind of perfect timing, Dean, because as uh, all of us are at home, and I think they've said this, is that after all of this is kind of said and done, one of the things is people are gonna have cleaner homes because people are out there cleaning, dusting, sorting yes. through things. So I think it's a great time to also talk about just, again, the importance of not just floor care itself, but you can actually use the C3 for what you call uh, above uh, above the floor care. That's right. Yeah, and so I've got a, a curtain here. I've got a, an upholstered chair. So we're gonna we're gonna use it on all different types of surfaces, including the floor, um, as we go through. So we were mentioning just the, the quality construction of the vacuum. It's ABS plastic, so very very durable. Um, a, a couple of other things, just on the exterior of the vacuum, um, that I'll talk about for you is I'll show you the controls. And what I really like about our controls on our Complete C3 Excellence is that it's all very easy for me to operate this vacuum, uh, mainly with, without bending over. So I'm able to basically use my feet and I'm able to tap various buttons and controls in order to operate the vacuum. So the first thing, uh, once you've got your vacuum cleaner plugged in, um, just you know, turning it on and off is just with the tap of a button, I'm able to do that and turn it on and off. So that's what this button there is for. And one thing that you'll notice when I do turn it on, Kelly, is that it's, the motor doesn't just go from zero to 100. Right. It has a bit of a ramp up, so we can hear that in the sound. Yeah, absolutely. And what that's doing is it's actually helping to protect the motor. So it's not shocking the motor from going from off to fully on. It's, it's ramping it up, revving it up, and that's gonna help um, keep the motor lasting longer. Lasting longer. The other button here that's a foot activated button, this is an automatic cord rewind. So right now I've got the, the cord plugged in and, uh, and if I were to press this, it really just takes one tap. And what we're going to notice is if this wasn't plugged in, um, we would see the cord would automatically recoil. So you don't have to uh, even hold it down. It's just one tap and the cord will come all the way back in. So just a really nice convenience, convenience. feature there. Um, speaking of the cord, uh, so our complete C3 excellence and all of our complete C3 vacuums have an operating radius of 11 meters. And what we mean by operating radius is not, we don't measure just the length of the power cord, but operating radi radius is a, is a more meaningful measure for, uh, for you at home. And what that is, is if you were to measure from where you plug the vacuum in in the electrical outlet, and if you were to uh, pull the, the cord fully tight and you were to reach as far as you can, it would measure right to the tip of the power head. And that would give you 11 meters of reach with this particular vacuum. And if you think about your home, uh, perhaps you know, a room or your main floor, for example, and think about how far 11 meters will go, the nice thing about this is you're not going to have to change your electrical outlets very often as you're vacuuming your whole home. Mm. So that's a little bit about the power cord. Um, we, we've talked uh, about the, the two foot uh, activated controls. There's a couple other controls that are on the front here that I also wanted to go through. And this is also something that Mila is really well known for. 
And that is the ability to control the level of suction power that your vacuum has. Right, because I think some people forget sometimes that depending on the surface you're cleaning requires, it doesn't mean more power is always best cleaning performance. That's right. And we're going to see how sometimes actually the opposite is true um, today. So especially when you get into cleaning different above floor surfaces, that's where having a lower level of suction power sometimes is really beneficial. So in order to control the suction level, um, what I do on the Complete C3 Excellence is I'll turn my vacuum on. And right now I'm on the maximum power setting. So I'm getting full suction power. And on the front of the vacuum, I have a series of, of six different icons. And those icons tell me how much suction power I'm, I'm on. So right now I'm on the maximum and it has an icon that looks like, uh, like parquet flooring. Mm -hmm. So this is the setting you wanna be on maximum when you're vacuuming your hard, hard floors. Work. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna suck in all those uh, dust particles really quite efficiently and quickly um, so that they're not dancing around the floor as you're trying to uh, vacuum a bare floor. All right. Now, I'm gonna move this down to our minimum. So in order to do that, the Complete C3 vacuums have a plus button and a minus button. Again, very easy for me to control them with my feet so I don't have to bend over. And I'm going to hit the minus button and we can see that as I hit it, I can hear that the suction power is, is right. lowering and I can see the icon starting to move. So I'm gonna keep going and we can hear how it's starting to quiet down and getting less and less suction power. And now I'm gonna go on to minimum. So it's, it's actually remarkable how much variation that is. And you can really tell just in the noise level. Right. Um, it's, it's very, very quiet right now and this vacuum is fully turned on. So on the minimum setting, the icon is curtains. And so this is, uh, we're gonna show how easy and how great it is to be able to draw down that suction power to do your curtains. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna disengage my handle very easily from the stainless steel telescopic wand. And you'll notice that when, I'm, when I have a wand um, and I'm not using it for, for example, this purpose, if I wanna do my curtains, the vacuum actually has a parking slot right in there. I thought you were going to make me hold it, so that's perfect. So the, the vacuum's actually making your job, Kelly, even <laughs> easier. Um, so, you know, it holds there. It's really convenient. How many times are you vacuuming and, and you know, you need to answer the phone or you need to uh, pick something up? Right. This is just a great way. And that way, you know that your, your wand isn't going to, if you lean up against a wall. Scratch, fall, You're not scratch risking something. scratching. Yeah, so really nice to have that parking spot. So now you're wondering, okay, is, am I just gonna vacuum the curtain with this bare open um, uh, part? But no, what you can do is, there's actually a hood. So think about this as almost like a, like a car. You've got a hood here. So if I press this button here, we'll see that the hood opens and inside I've got three different accessories. So in fact, all Miele vacuums come with three accessories. Mm -hmm. So the Complete C3 Excellence and our Complete C3 vacuums, uh, all of them have the accessories stored right on board under the hood. Which, which I love, because a lot of times you'll lose it in the back of a cupboard, you put it away somewhere, so yes. it's great that everything has its place. Exactly, it has its place, you don't have to worry about um, storage or losing them. And so the one that we're gonna use first is this nozzle here. I think of this as a curtain or upholstery nozzle. Um, it's got a very nice wide cleaning path on it uh, for an accessory and it just fits right on there. Um, so now what we're going to do is I, I've got here, we don't, we're in a showroom so we don't actually have a, a proper curtain but we've got this for demonstration purposes and as I mentioned before we've got this on the minimum suction setting and this is a great suction level for doing your curtains. So you can see I'm not sucking up the whole curtain, right. I'm getting ample suction in order to be able to remove all of the dust from the curtain, but I'm not sucking the curtain up um, either and not also damaging the fabric. So just to kind of give an example, um, if I did not have that suction power control and I only had one level and that was full power. Oh boy. This gets a lot harder. Like and you it's can really, see it's really, really pulling sticky. on, pulling on the fabric, which yeah. isn't uh, a great thing for the fabric. So that just gives an example, just how much easier it is when you have that control of suction power. So um, 
That was the minimum setting. Now, if we want to do upholstery, this same accessory uh, is really great for upholstery as well. So from upholstered chairs to your sofa, what you're able to do there, I'll just gonna dial it up one level. And the icon on the vacuum is actually of a, a sofa. upholstered chair yeah. Yeah, or a sofa. So really easy to match up the icon to the type of surface you want in the vacuum. So this upholstered dining chair here, I've put down some uh, faux fur uh, on it just to sort of imitate uh, perhaps if you have pets in your home, uh, what you might find uh, on some of your chairs. And I'm really gonna try to rub this fur as much as I can into the fabric just to give it a more realistic scenario. And we can just see how very, very efficiently mm -hmm. this accessory is able to vacuum upholstery. And the nice thing about this level of suction is it's very easy to move the accessory, but also it's not pulling at the fabric. Fabrics. So I don't have Which to worry about it. Which is in a lot it. of ways protecting the fabric and making yes. your furniture last longer as well. Exactly, yeah. You're just trying to peel that dust off the surface and not trying to s suck the whole upholstery right up into the vacuum. So that's a second surface. So that sort of shows just a couple of examples of what you can do in terms of above floor cleaning. And um, I'm gonna be back next week for another session on Meal Live, and we're gonna do a deep dive into above floor cleaning. So we have lots of accessories on Milo.ca in addition to just the basic three that come with the vacuum. Um, and we're gonna explore those and all the different amazing things you can do with above floor cleaning. Absolutely. So if we move along, uh, now let's talk about using the complete C3 excellence to vacuum your floors. Yes. So um, this particular model, it comes with two different floor heads. And so I'm going to dial up our suction to one more level up and the icon is an area rug. Right. So now that we're getting into carpeting, um, this is one of the two floor heads that come with a complete C3 excellence. And we call this a, a universal floor head. The reason why is it has this button here, which I'm able to press with my foot. So I'm just gonna set up the vacuum first. And again, I think the, the beauty about it, Dean, is a lot of the icons you see are very consistent between the attachments, the actual vacuum, yes. so that there's, there's a familiarity uh, as you're using it. it. It does, and it really helps uh, you just get to know the vacuum uh, a lot easier as you're using it to having those icons. So now that I've got this floor head attached, um, what you'll notice is it has that foot activated pedal and I'm able to switch it. Right now, I've got it on the icon for area rugs. Mm -hmm. So this would be good for doing your low pile area rugs. Uh, nothing too high pile, but for example, Kelly, this, uh, this section of the carpet here, this is a nice low pile carpet, and this is gonna be really a perfect pile um, to be able to use this floor head. So we can see how easy it is. And with that switch, if now, if I were to step on it and change it, now I'm going to the parquet uh, icon, and this is going to be what I want for my hard floors. So you've got the two different um, settings that you can use this one floor head for, for both low pile carpet and hard floors. And over here in the middle and moving over in front of me, I've got higher pile carpet. Mm -hmm. So this is um, where we would recommend that instead of using the universal floor head, that you would just remove this and instead you'd put on this power head that comes with the vacuum. And this particular one, this is an electric power head. So it has a motor right inside the power head um, in order to be able to turn a brush roll um, and be able to um, vacuum really effectively higher pile carpet. And, and I think Dean, uh, we see a similar type power head in our cat and dog models that yes. you talked about last week. And you yeah. really need that extra power, you would say? For sure, yeah. So the higher the pile of the carpet, the more you need to have that electrically powered brush roll to be able to move through the carpet. So um, once you have your, your power head attached, then right on the handle, there is a uh, button, and this is how you're gonna turn that power head on and off. So you wanna turn it on, and you can hear that motor starting. Absolutely. You wanna turn it on when you're on carpet, 
But the great thing about this power head is that it's also great on your hard floors too. So you just turn it off when you want to go to your hard floors because you don't want to have the brush roll uh, rolling on your hard floors. Right. So when I'm on uh, the higher pile carpet with the brush roll turned on, it's very, very easy uh, for me to maneuver. And it's doing a really great job of, of deep cleaning these carpets uh, by picking up the dust that has been embedded deep into the, uh, into the pile. So Dewalt, actually on this topic, maybe we can take a question from uh, Chris E. Chris, thanks for watching with us. Um, so he actually has a very related question. So uh, I have a great Pyrenees cross retriever and it takes me a few passes to get hair. Will that power head pick up her hair in one pass? Yeah, so why don't we do a little uh, we'll demonstration. Some, uh, We've got some more faux fur. Yeah. And uh, Kelly, how about we put it down in the middle section yeah. here? I'm going to rub it. I'm going to give it a good rub in. All right. So that looks pretty beat in there. That's good. Hopefully. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this on, and so to answer the question, no better way to do it than to actually demonstrate. Yep. So I've got my power head now turned on, and I'm just going to do one pass. I won't go front and back, just straight forward. So that looks pretty clean pretty path. Clean. So hopefully so that answers uh, the question, um, but it, it does a really great job of picking up pet yeah. fur for sure. So Chris, hopefully that answers your question, or at least we can uh, show you a little bit about that. Now, Chris has an additional question, um, Dean, maybe we can answer as well, mm -hmm. um, about uh, suction, basically cleaning under the bed, and uh, obviously a challenge for all of us sometimes. Yeah. Some of us don't even do it, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, suggestions, tricks there? Sure, so one of the things I love about our floor heads is how low profile they are. So. For example, our power head here, you can see it's only really just a couple of inches high. So this is going to be really great for getting under furniture, um, as well as the universal floor head that we were talking about. Again, also very low pile. Um, one of the things I love about the power head is when I bring it down, the way I'm able to maneuver the wand, I'm able to actually make the wand flush right against the ground. So you can just see not even um, will the power head uh, get in the way of going under furniture because it's nice and low profile. Right. But With also, I can get the wand right down flush against the ground and I can vacuum like this if needed. Indeed, how about if, uh, you know, I don't think I could reach all the way back. Yeah. Um, can we extend? Sure, yeah. So this is a really high quality stainless steel uh, wand and it's telescopic. So I'm able to really extend this out so that will give me a lot of extra reach under furniture as well it makes it very comfortable for uh, for taller people to vacuum and i'm able to adjust this depending on my height and my comfort i can bring this all the way down to a, a, a fairly short um, extension as well so lots of um, uh, adjustments you can do uh, in order to give yourself more or less reach uh, with the wand great Okay, so we've gone over um, some demonstrations of the different types of surfaces that you can clean with the complete C3 Excellence. Um, what I thought we could do now is I'd like to just give you a tour of the inside and talk about the, the filtration and really the performance of our vacuum. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to turn this vacuum off and I'm just going to disengage the wand and the hose. Show me and plug it or? Um, just give myself a little bit more cord length because we know we've got 11 meters of reach here. So, <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> okay, so this is uh, what the vacuum looks like. When you want to open uh, the vacuum and access the dust bag and the filters, you're just going to open it. There's a, a lever at the top, and I'm just going to open it up like this. This is what you're going to find when you look inside the vacuum. So, what you'll see first off is right here is our dust bag. And, and one thing, you know, I, I've said this before, but it's amazing every time you actually open the vacuum, because we've been using this for testing even before this and actually yes. using it. Just if I look at the inside of the vacuum itself, how clean it's remained. Yes. I, I don't see dust. Um, it really has remained sealed inside the, uh, in the bag. Yeah, so over the years, Mila has really refined their dust bag technology. And one of the, 
the great things about our dust bag is that it has a spring-loaded trap door on it. So what that does is it allows, when the vacuum is turned on and there's airflow coming into the dust bag, it allows all of that dust to be collected inside the dust bag. But the moment the vacuum is turned off and the suction stops, that spring-loaded trap door snaps shut and it really keeps all the dust retained inside the bag. So Mila, when it comes to evaluating the performance of a, of a, mm. a vacuum cleaner, filtration is definitely one of those top things you want to consider. And this is one area where Mila really excels. So our filtration system on the complete C3 Excellence actually has three different stages of filtration. So the first stage is the dust bag. And our latest dust bag technology, uh, it's the AirClean 3D Efficiency Dust Bag. And it's not a paper bag. So um, this is a, a really high quality cloth material with many different layers. Um, and it's able to really do a great job of collecting and retaining fine dust. So this is gonna be your first level of filtration. Mm -hmm. And this is going to filter by and large most of the dust that your vacuum uh, collects. But if any dust were to be so fine um, that it were to escape this dust bag and travel past through it, then we've got actually two more layers uh, or levels of filtration. So inside the vacuum here, We've got this filter here, and this is a motor protection filter. And just like it's uh, described, it's there uh, to further filter um, the airflow before it mm -hmm. exhausts out of the vacuum, but also there to protect the, the motor. Uh, going back to that quality and... And making, a lot, making the vacuum last longer. I exactly, yes. Yeah. yeah, anything we can do, because that's definitely an area where uh, the motor for, for vacuum cleaners typically is one of the areas over time that could fail. So um, having that extra filter there and protecting the motor is gonna go a long way in making the vacuum last longer. Now we do have a seven year warranty, correct? We uh, do, Dean, on yes. the motor itself. Yeah. And this is something that we're really proud of and that is that Mila actually manufactures their own motors for their vacuum cleaners. So uh, it's not something that we outsource and, and mm -hmm. purchase from a third party, but we're actually making it ourselves. And for that reason, as Kelly mentioned, we're underwriting a seven year warranty on the motor. And we have five years on the vacuum itself. That's right, yeah. So five years, parts and labor in, um, covered uh, for five years on all the other components. So whether it be the power head, the hose, the plastic, whatever it is, it's five years parts, parts and labor covered. Um, so you can really buy with a lot of confidence uh, with that warranty. And so we talked about the first two stages of filtration, mm -hmm. uh, but we actually have one more. And so on the front of the vacuum, on the top here, this grate, this is where the air exhausts out of the vacuum. And just before it does exhaust out, we uh, force the air to travel through one last filter. And this is what we call the air clean filter. So I'm just going to open this, this cage up here. Usually it opens e <laughs> easier than today, of course. It's a, yeah, it's a little, probably has never been opened before, so the plastic is just a, a little stronger. Um, so here is our air clean filter. Mm -hmm. And so one thing I did want to mention, because some people don't quite know if they have to buy these separately right. from our dust bags, but when you purchase a box of dust bags from us, what it says on the side is this particular box, it's going to come with four dust bags. Uh, so four of these, but it also comes with one air clean filter and also one of our motor filters. So you get everything that you need in the box uh, for filtration. And it really depends on how often you vacuum, um, as well as whether you have pets in your home and how much dust and, and perhaps pet uh, fur you're, you're collecting. Uh, but on average, most households will go through one dust bag every three months or so. So on Mila.ca, you're able to purchase dust bags. Uh, for our complete C3 vacuum that we're looking at here today, it's the GN type dust bag that you're going to want to purchase for it. And um, this particular box comes with four, it's $19.99. It uh, comes with the four dust bags and the two filters that you're gonna need. Uh, this is gonna be great for a one year supply. What we also offer on Mila.ca for dust bags is we actually offer a extra large pack 
so this one here actually comes with double the contents. So instead of four dust bags, you're getting eight. You're getting two air clean filters and two motor filters. So about two years supply, uh, $34.99. So there's about $5 savings um, if you were to uh, purchase the value packs instead. Yep. So that's uh, a little bit about the filtration. The other thing that I'll just mention in terms of performance with our filtration is that those three steps combined, they're going to filter 99.9% .9 of fine dust um, out of the, uh, the, the air that the vacuum is, is intaking. intaking. Yeah. But that means actually, Dean, that when the air that comes out through the exhaust actually in a lot of ways will be cleaner than the air actually going into the vacuum. It's definitely true. And we, we've done um, in the showroom before experiments with a particle meter and we've measured um, the, um, the purification of the ambient room air and we've compared that to putting the particle meter right at the point uh, where the air is being exhausted out of the vacuum and measuring the particle count there. And we've actually found that the air that's being exhausted out to be pure of dust and allergens. So talking about allergens, I think we're heading into a season where allergies themselves are very high. Yes. Um, any other options to further um, aid uh, people that actually have a lot of allergies? Yeah. So you know, I was mentioning how 99.9% .9 of the fine dust is going to be filtered simply through the filters and the dust bag that you get in one of our boxes mm -hmm. or that come with a vacuum. but what you can actually do is you can actually make that even um, higher in terms of filtration and you can get that up to 99.95%. And that is really important because even though 99.9% .9 seems very impressive, it's actually not, it's not quite at the level that you'd want it to be if you suffer from allergies. Right. So we offer a couple of different filters and if you are an allergy sufferer um, and the season is definitely upon us, um, what I would recommend is that you purchase a HEPA air clean filter. Okay. This is available on Milo.ca. Um, and this, in combination with the motor protection filter and your dust bag, that's going to get you to the 99.95% filtration. Um, so this is uh, a really great filter uh, if you suffer from allergies. Another thing I want to suggest is if you're purchasing the complete C3 Excellence, and knowing that it's on such a great pr promotion right now mm -hmm. at $5.99. But if you have pets at home, what I would recommend you consider doing is purchasing what we call the Active Air Clean Filter. And the Active Air Clean Filter has charcoal in it, and charcoal is really good for absorbing odor. So this filter, what it will do is, the air that's being exhausted out of the vacuum will travel first through this filter and it means that you won't have that, that, the pet odors mm -hmm. um, that you might have when you're vacuuming uh, carpets in homes that have pets um, being released back into the air. Uh, all of the exhausted air is going to be odor free if you use one of these filters. So I think the, the great thing about talking about the uh, complete C3 excellence today is really we're covering not just actually cleaning the floors, actually above floors as you talked about and you're going to be back next week to talk in more detail Yes. Air quality, uh, which is really, really important. Um, Dean, maybe we have time, because actually time's already run out, but I, I'd love to try to take a couple of questions sure. uh, yeah. before the end of the session, so if you don't mind. Um, so Liam Salter um, has a question for us. Uh, does it come in any other colors? So I assume you're specifically talking about uh, the C3 Excellence, but Dean, mm -hmm. um, what options are there color-wise? Sure. So our each one of our vacuums, while we offer in our lineup a variety of different colors of vacuums, each model comes in one color. So the Complete C3 Excellence comes in white. Um, white is, you know, it's a really classic color, and mm -hmm. it's actually a color that for some time over the last couple of years, we actually didn't have a white vacuum in our assortment. And we were getting a lot of feedback actually from consumers uh, asking us for a white vacuum. So when we were planning um, this special vacuum for this promotion, we thought, let's bring out a white vacuum again, because that had been really popular yeah. and something people were asking for. So this particular one is, is, um, is white. Now, if you look on Milo.ca, we offer uh, three, three other uh, models in the complete C3 vacuum family. And each one of those is in a different color. color. So we have a, a petrol green, uh, that's our uh, complete C3 Power Plus. 
We've got a really nice dark navy blue, our complete C3 total care. And we've got a, a Tayberry red, so like a deep red for our complete C3 cat and dog. So lots of color options within the complete C3 lineup. Uh, but this particular one is, uh, is a white vacuum. Yeah. And, and this is a special model. I think it's yes. limited in quantity, yeah. especially at the price that we're offering. So uh, not, that, uh, not that many left to, to get a hold of. So. That's right, yeah. Um, we have time for one more question, Dean, if, sure. if you're okay, from Steve yeah. W. Uh, so Steve's question is, my house is mainly wood floors with a few area rugs and carpet on the stairs. I have two large dogs. Uh, would this model work as well as the cat and dog model in my situation? Right, so um, with mainly wood floors, uh, the Complete C3 Excellence is more than capable uh, of actually of handling your wood floors. Um, you're going to be able to use the electric power head uh, turned off on your wood floors. Uh, you're also going to be able to the use universal. the universal. Yeah. Um, in terms of stairs, uh, this is going to be, canister vacuums are great for stairs uh, because you're able to easily carry them around. They're not too heavy, uh, so really great style for doing your stairs. The one thing I would say is that uh, since you mentioned that you do have pets, is the that's active, where I would truck. recommend um, if you purchase the Complete C3 Excellence, consider also purchasing the Active Air Clean Filter. That's really the only thing that I would say, um, you know, for complete, um, uh, vacuuming within a, uh, a home with pets. That's really the only thing this uh, would be missing out of the box, right. but you can add it on. So the active air clean filter. And again, with the current deal on the uh, com complete C3 excellence, that's a, that's a great package to have. You really have everything you need. For sure, yeah. Well, uh, thanks Dean for that. If thanks you want to maybe me. just to wrap uh, from your side, uh, just summarize again. So what's the offer for the complete C3 excellence right now? Sure, so this vacuum is normally $849 and it is on promotion right now for $599, so $250 savings. Uh, available on milo.ca, um, absolutely by far one of our strongest offers of the whole year. And it comes with all the attachments that we kind of went through today? Everything we looked at today and covered, uh, the only thing it doesn't include that would be uh, purchased separately are the HEPA filter and the active air clean filter. Otherwise, everything we covered today is within the box. And those are also available right now on Mila.ca. That's right, yes. Thanks, Dean. Thanks very much. Um, so many of you uh, have asked us uh, questions about what services are currently being offered right now. So if you're an existing customer and you need support, uh, so f the first option is our Canadian call center, which is our own Mila call center, is fully operational. Uh, hours of operation are located on Mila.ca and they would be able to assist you uh, as a first step. If you require technical support or in-home technical support, our MILA uh, certified technicians are also operating across Canada. Um, we do have revised procedures uh, to ensure the safety of you, our customers, as well as our own team. Again, be sure to visit MILA.ca for all the details there. If you're interested in buying new product, like the Complete C3 Excellence that you see here, or our dishwashers, laundry machines, cooking products, uh, tabletop coffee machines that Dean's also talked about in previous sessions. Um, that you can buy, first of all, on Mila.ca. It's uh, available 24-7. Um, right now on all care collection products, vacuum, tabletop coffee machines, there is actually free shipping. So we're trying to make that as easy for you as possible. Also available on Mila.ca, if you think this is actually a great gift to gift somebody or help somebody get towards this gift, we actually have a new Mila E gift card that's available on Mila.ca. Uh, as we're all at home, but we really want to still try to celebrate with friends, family, anniversary, special dates, um, the Mila E gift card is also a really uh, easy gift um, to send to a friend or a loved one to, uh, to share with them. So that's available on Mila.ca. Uh, the second thing is if you're interested in getting a product but have a couple of more questions, you can actually use our personal telephone product consultation uh, service. You can book an appointment there on Mila.ca and you can actually have a one-on-one -on -one phone conversation with one of our product experts that will be able to answer any questions you have but also they actually can take your order over the telephone. Starting later next week, we're actually going to offer a new service which is the virtual sales consultation. 
In this case, you would actually be able to book an appointment on meal.ca and actually in a two-way video conversation from one of our showrooms across Canada, interact and see products with actually one of our sales consultants that would be able to help you there. After you're done that process, if you'd like to purchase something, they can actually also take your order online at that point in time. So be sure to look out for that new service that's coming later next week as well. Um, our meal delivery and installation teams are also operating uh, across Canada, again, with revised uh, processes to ensure your safety as well as ours. Visit Mila.ca for all the details. So um, to wrap up, we want to thank you on behalf of Dean, myself, the whole Mila team for joining us this afternoon. Uh, happy Earth Day. Um, we encourage all of you to do just a little thing for the environment. If we all do that, uh, we'll be in a much better place. And uh, as you're at home, enjoy your family. Um, very lastly, on behalf of the entire Mila team, we want to thank and send a special thank you to all the frontline and essential workers out there throughout Canada that are supporting all the communities, ensuring groceries can be bought, um, medical support is given to those that need, public transportation, um, and the list really does go on. But on, on our behalf, we'd really like to uh, thank all of you for your bravery, your dedication to uh, all of us. And uh, we hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Uh, if you're interested, at 5 o'clock today, we're doing a live cooking demo to show you things that you never thought you could do in the Mila steam oven. So be sure to tune in for that. And again, have a great afternoon and thank you very much.